What is up YouTube? It is Hollywood Floss, the worst producer of all time. Back with another video in today's video. We got a banger, man. Woof. No, I did not freeze up. No, I did not glitch. I just have to stare at you for a little second. Just, we got a banger. I mean business, all right? We got Scalar 2.7. Yeah, they finally updated from 2.6 to 2.7. And they have stacked it with some incredible features. So the rich get richer. The king of all VSTs plugins gets better. All right, but before we check that out, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you get any video I upload to the channel. You know, we do reviews of VSTs, Scalar 2 kits, MIDI kits, uh, plugins, etc., etc. And today we got the king, and I'm excited. Let's check this out. Let's go to FL Studio right now. Okay, so we're in FL Studio and we're about to check out Scalar 2.7. I got my tempo around 85. We can change it depending on the genre that we are going to settle with. But let's just talk about some of the features. They've added a live sync feature. I'm gonna show you what that is. New modes, new melodies, all right? Autoplay in the browser, multi voice output, global velocity help you so it's not always the same velocity and new content 80s classical hip-hop and lo-fi instruments all right so they've packed out this i think it's like a gig on the um uh, on the download on the upgrade all right so if you already got it you get a free upgrade no matter how many times they come out with upgrade all right so 2.7 gets better let's go right into it the first thing that i'm excited about that i think is cool for uh you to use and come up with ideas is the live sync feature so with the live sync feature um you click on this s and you hit sync and then you're gonna come down to where it says live sync progression builder chords voicing and timing it's the last thing and you hit it and you can start the live sync all right and now you should have one of them saying leader and one of them should say follow okay so on this one i'm going to come up with an instrument all right and then i'm going to come down here and um give you some neo soul all right then we can take all of these and push them down and when i pushed it down it just went right over to this as well all right now it doesn't know that it's c minus or but it knows it's, it's going to be in key don't worry about that all right then from there got a chord progression but on this one I don't want the same things to go down I want it to be on this one and let me put this one right here Dawson sync on so it's playing both of them together when I Dawson sync it and you can tell because one is a uh, like a bell sound and one is a, a piano sound if I want to change it to something Alright, so I kind of want to get like a synth lead, so we'll get like a, a simple. So it's syncing up, and you can get as many of these instances to follow as your computer allows. But what you could do is now you can go ahead here and kind of change the way this one is acting. It's still going to follow the chords that you give it, but now it's going to give it a melody to it. So I might want to put it in that. So one is now giving me the chord and the other one is giving me the melody, the top melody, so to speak. So uh, let's go actually into melody and find a melody, common D, something like that. It's gonna come up with a melody, so don't. Let's stop. All right, and then this is what I want to do. I want to go actually into four bar loop. And then... Yeah. 
Yeah. So you're creating melodies just by syncing and playing with the actual melodies that they give you, the riffs that they give you. And it stays in sync, stays in key, and all of that. So those uh, chord packs that I be making, yeah. Today's price is not yesterday's price. And I got more coming for y'all so y'all can have, you know, more selection. So that was Neo Soul. Of course, you got more. But the ones that specially made to sound like Frank Ocean or Pharrell or whatever, those are going to now come in handy because now you can have sync those with the melody and not have to come up with a melody on your own or and save time. Okay, so that is dope. Next up, what we'll look at is this feature right here, autoplay. So when you go in here, let's say you delete everything out. Now autoplay is on by right clicking it and you can just go through. And it matches the tempo that you're already in. You can just keep on going through and then changing instruments. So you right click here, that is the auto play, and um, it'll play all your chords for you. Just something cool to have um, and to, uh, to use if you want to use that. Also, you come down here, you can select generate parallel harmony this is something new before it was just semitones now you can use minor thirds and this is good for soundtracks actually if you do like movie soundtracks or anything like that uh, TV this is good for that I'm gonna use uh, soft piano and you can also use it with uh, performance mode and you can get that just right click you can do minor thirds major thirds fourths fifths and by fifths dynamic voicing just a creative way to come up with more uh, ideas and your uh, chord progressions actually and y'all know why I'm here, you know what I'm saying? Of course, I'm here for the new sounds. You got lo-fi and got a couple other new sounds. But um, other than that, I wanted to check out the new categories. You got the classical. You got eighties. Of course, they finally showed some more love to hip hop. And then, of course, if you come here to perform performances avant garde, they now have avant garde expressions. So you go here instead of a uh, Adagio or Espressivo or Madero or I'm not saying it right. I just give up. Avant-garde is a new one. So let's go to Avant-garde 9. And it gives you just a little bit more, like more melodies, more riffs, more playing styles. And then you can come in here. There's more bass to look at. 
just go through all of them. I love it, man. Shout out to Scalar 2.7. It's your boy Hollywood Floss. More banks coming from me. Go to hollywoodfloss.bstars.com. Um, yeah, I just just look on the site. You'll be surprised. Buy one, get two free. Um, if you show me proof of purchase, buy one, get one free. I'm trying to I'm trying to help y'all out. So y'all give me some ideas on which ones y'all would like to see. But Scalar Two is definitely definitely worthwhile. It's your boy Hollywood Floss, the worst producer of all time. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining. In. Hit that like and subscribe button and pick up Scalar Two Point Seven if you haven't. Peace.